Good morning, everybody here in Geneva. Good afternoon, everybody in Melbourne. Jeff, can you hear me? We knew there was a big conference coming up, the ICHEP meeting in, in Melbourne. And uh, we knew that whatever happened, we'd have to declare the status of the Higgs search at that conference. It was clearly the, it was the milestone we were all aiming for, so that, that, was, that was never a surprise. Today is also a special day because we hear two presentations from the two experiments, ATLAS and CMS, on their update on a search for a certain particle. I forgot the name. What was a surprise was that it became pretty clear quite quickly and quite suddenly, really, in that last period that as the data came in, it was really showing more significance than we'd actually expected. It took quite a bit of effort to compress all the work of really thousands of people over many years into the small number, I think 175 slides, that I show here. I, I was out there till the Tuesday night. I came back late on the Tuesday and the July the 4th was a Wednesday. And um, Fabiola um, gave a talk um, in Tuesday afternoon, the practice talk. and. and you could see as she was, it was great, it was really good. All comic sounds, of course, but it was great. Um, and uh, you could see as she was doing it, I think, we were all in the room, including Fabiola, just realising how important it really was. You know, it was only really, because, you know, the last plots in that talk had come in an hour before, you know, it was really that last minute. And of course, in principle, we all kind of by that stage knew roughly what we had, but it was only seeing it all presented in an hour by the head of the collaboration, we suddenly thought, wow, this is real, this is something special. And Fabiola's um, conclusions at the end were very conservative and laid back and, and you can see us all thinking, no way, this is, this is not an excess anymore, this is a new particle. Now the grand combination, the channels that you have seen before, together with uh, the other channels from the 2011 results. fascinated by uh, problems of symmetry in physics for some years. Uh, I, I wrote two very short papers, uh, both of which I sent to the journal Physics Letters, which was the fairly new European counterpart of the American journal Physical Review Letters. Okay, finally I would like to ask if uh, one of our four eminent theorists would like to say something. <laughs> The same editor who had accepted the first paper rejected the second paper. Uh, and I was told later by a colleague who'd been at CERN at the time uh, that, that nobody understood what I, what I was doing and that it, they didn't see that it had any relevance to real physics. Well, I would like to add my congratulations to everybody involved in this tremendous achievement. Uh, for me, it's really an incredible thing that it's happened in my lifetime. <laughs> it's taken... <laughs> it's ta Not only in your lifetime, Peter. So what in fact I did was to revise the rejected short paper by adding on some paragraphs and one of the paragraphs drew attention to a characteristic of this model being uh, the existence of what I called a leftover uh, sp spin zero massive particle. That's what became known as the Higgs boson. It was really interesting watching, watching the response of, of the, particularly the media, because um, we've always been so cagey about hints and sigmas and stuff. And we, we moved from being cagey about discovery to be engaged about what is we've discovered. Hi, uh, Jeff Brumfield with Nature Magazine. I mean, so what would you have us write today? Have you, have you found the Higgs or what? 
you can't say definitely that this is the standard model Higgs boson. There's plenty more you have to do to do that. And at some level, that's even one of those questions you'll never be able to say definitively, because you can always measure it a little bit more precisely and find a deviation. We're reaching into the fabric of the universe at a level we've never done before. So the picture may be much more complicated than what we've seen today. I hope it will be much more complicated than what we've seen today. So it's, you know, the, the whole process is still going on and will continue for several years. Um, but that, if there's any one moment you have to point where the, the game changed completely, it was the 4th of July. That was when we moved from searching for something to having something and trying to work out what it is. 